टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी वेन डायग्राम्स व्हाट इज द यूज ऑफ वेन डायग्राम्स व्हाई यूज द वेन डायग्राम्स ओके सो वेन डायग्राम्स व्हिच इज यूज्ड फॉर टू टू रिप्रेजेंट द ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ ए सेट ऑफ ऑपरेशंस एंड इट इज इजी फॉर टू अंडरस्टैंडिंग बिकॉज व्हेन वी रिप्रेजेंट द एनी ऑपरेशंस ग्राफिकली इट इज इजी फॉर टू अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड इट इज यूजर फ्रेंडली सो फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू what is the definition of venn diagrams to study the what is the definition of venn diagrams so venn diagrams operations on a set can be represented with the picture with the picture means so all these are operations we represent in the form of picture okay the diagram form of this set is said to be venn diagram okay next a set is represented by a circle because when we represent the set operations in the form of diagram so we need there are some notations there are we use the some symbols which are used for to represent the particular set operations etc okay so set which is represented by a circle or closed geometrical figure closed geometrical figure okay so inside the universal set inside the closed geometrical figure inside the universal set the universal set is represented by a rectangular region the universal set is represented by a rectangular region a shaded region gives the answer for any statement okay when we shade the particular region of a set or universal sets so the shaded region which is a answer for a particular statement okay so next Uh, suppose the example for uh, we represent the a complement in the form of venn diagram okay use the venn diagram so how to represent a complement by using venn diagram suppose this is a rectangle okay this is a universal set u okay so universal set we represented by using the rectangle and a complement a means a set okay so this is a a set this is a a set using a circle here we have defined all these things okay next a complement what is the what is the meaning of a complement a complement meanings sorry this is a rectangle and this is a circle a this is a universal set u okay what is the a complement a complement means a complement means all the element of universal set but not in a means all the elements of a but not in a so discard the only a set and we are going to share all the elements other than a all the elements of u means universal set this is a a complement okay next second is union of set union of set so here there are three conditions we use here union of set case first a union b equals to b this happens when a is subset of b a union b equals to b if a is subset of b a is subset of b means all the elements of a belongs to b okay and union means all the elements uh, the elements which are in a or either in a or in b or in both common element consider one time only okay so here if a is subset of b means all the elements of a belongs to b means answer is b the set of a union which contains the all the elements of b okay so how to represent uh, this set by using venn diagrams so this is a universal set u universal set u here a is subset of b means this is a part of this is a part b and this is a a a belongs to b because a is subset of b so here so outer circle is b and inner circle is a 
because all the elements of A belongs to B. So by doing this, and answer is answer is B set. B set. So this is a when A union B equals to B if A subset B. A subset B. That time Schroeder region is all the B. Okay. We have already in this example we have shared uh, we have also shaded A circle because A set because the A elements the elements belongs to A which are also elements of B. That's why so we consider here all the elements of B. Okay. So this is the A union B equals to B if A is subset of B. Next second case A union B when neither A is subset B nor B subset A. So here two two sets. This is a universal set. Okay, and here two conditions uh, A union B when neither A is subset B and B uh, nor B subset A to draw a diagram like this but not a disjoint set not a disjoint set here not to mention that things A and B are disjoint set okay that means some part of the elements which are in uh, common elements in both set okay but neither A is subset B and nor B is subset A subset me all the elements of particular set in another set okay so this is a A set and this is a B set okay A union B means all the elements of A all the elements of B and all the elements which are belongs to A and also B means common elements this is a common region is associated this is a A union B when neither A is subset B nor B subset A okay are you understanding are we getting okay next case third a union b when a and b are disjoint set disjoint set means totally separate set so there is no uh, the elements a and b which are not not there any common elements okay suppose this is a this is a b set means totally different set discrete element sets okay this is a and b a union b means all the elements of A, all the elements of B, or both uh, in both. Okay, so all the elements of A, all the elements of B. This is a universal set. This is the set of region is answer for the A union B when A and B are disjoint set. Okay, so here I have already mentioned. Next, intersection of two sets. This is the another option. We have studied the complement of a particular set. Second, intersection of two sets. And third operation is a, sorry, we have studied union of two sets. And now we are going to study intersection of two sets. Okay. Here also there are three cases. Here also there are three cases. Intersection of two sets. Here before the starting the intersection of two sets, we need to understand the what do you mean by intersection. Intersection means the common element in both sets. Okay. So common element means, means same elements in a sets. Okay. So next case first, A intersection B, A intersection B when A subset B. When A subset B. Okay. So now, from this statements, we already understand, we know what is the A subset B, A sub all the elements of A which are belong to B. And here we need to consider only common elements, means all the elements of A which are belongs to B, means common elements. Okay, so this is the answer is B, answer is A, sorry, answer is A. Okay, so draw a diagram for a given set U, okay. This is the B and here A is subset of B. That's why we 
कंसिडर आउटर सर्कल इज बी एंड इनर सर्कल इज ए ओके बिकॉज ए इज सबसेड ऑफ बी एंड हियर वी कंसिडर ओनली कॉमन एलिमेंट्स वट इज द कॉमन एलिमेंट ऑल द एलिमेंट्स ऑफ ए विच आर ऑल्सो बिलोंग्स टू बी दीज आर द कॉमन एलिमेंट्स दिस इज आंसर ए इज ए आंसर फॉर द गिवन स्टेटमेंट ओके आर यू गेटिंग इफ एनी डाउट्स यू कैन मैसेज मी पर्सनली ऑन माई नंबर ओके ओके थैंक यू नेक्स्ट केस सेकेंड केस सेकेंड ए इंटरसेक्शन बी वेन नाइदर ए सबसेड बी नॉर बी सबसेड ए मीन्स नाइद ए इंटर टू फाइंड दी ए इंटरसेक्शन बी वेन नाइदर ए इज सबसेड ऑफ बी नॉर बी इज सबसेड ऑफ ए देट इज नो सबसेड ओके दैट्स एंड ऑल्सो वन थिंग इज दैट देर आर इज नो डिज जॉइंट सेट मीन्स देर आर दी देर आर दी नॉट ए डिज जॉइंट सेट ओके मीन्स सो दैट्स टाइम इज वी नीड टू ड्रॉ डायग्राम लाइक दिस इफ द टू सेट्स विच आर नॉट डिज डिज जॉइंट्स दैट मीन्स टू राइट दिस टाइप नेक्स्ट नाइदर ए इज सबसेट बी दिस वी हैव ड्रॉ दिस डायग्राम फॉर neither the particular a is subset of b nor b is subset of a that means here common reason is so this is a common reason this is the answer for the given statement for the given case okay this is answer for the given case next case third next is case third a to find the a intersection b when a and b are disjoint sets disjoint sets mean different sets disjoint set means different sets so there is no at least one means there is no elements in common in total different elements in a set and b set that means disjoint set so for this is a this is a b this is a set this is b set and this is a inverse set here a intersection b when that ओके सो नाउ टू फाइंड द ए इंटरसेक्शन बी फॉर ए गिवन केस ओके हाउ टू फाइंड बिकॉज इन इंटरसेक्शन वी कंसिडर ओनली कॉमन एलिमेंट्स बी बट हियर टोटली डिफरेंट एलिमेंट इन बोथ सेट्स सो दैट टाइम ए इंटरसेक्शन बी इक्वल्स टू फाइव मीन्स नल देर इज नो एनी एलिमेंट्स इन इंटरसेक्शन बी देर इज नो एनी एलिमेंट्स इन ए इंटरसेक्शन बी फॉर दिस केस ओके दैट मीन्स फाइव If the two sets are disjoint, so that thing answer is five null set. Okay. Next fourth operation is difference of sets. Fourth operation is difference of set. Okay. So here also there are three four cases. There are four cases. So now we are going to first case. We are going to study the first case. Case first. A minus B when A is subset of B. A minus B when A is subset of B. So here, before the starting, the to draw a Venn diagram for the difference of set, we need to understand what is the difference of set because we have already learned all these things in previous video. But now here we also need to review the what do you mean by difference of sets? Okay. Difference of set means a minus b. A minus b means all the elements of a, but not in b. Okay, but here a uh, here ask for the a minus b when a is subset of b. Okay, here we need to find out the here ask for a minus b to find out the a minus b. But condition is a is subset of b means all the elements of a belongs to b, but when we find the a minus b that means all the elements a but not in b but here condition is all the elements a are belongs to b because a is subset of b so that time the answer is null because when we consider the a set a elements to select the particular choose the elements from a set because but we cannot be uh, considered because to discard the, this e, a elements because all the elements which are also in b so main condition is that all the elements are but not in b this is the difference of set but here the a is subset of b means all the elements of a which are also belongs to b so that means null set suppose 
this is the u set this is the b this is the a because a is subset of b so answer is here a which is also part of b that means a minus b equals to 5 means null set okay so second case case second a minus b when b is subset of a a minus b when b is subset of a means all the elements of a but not in b means here condition is b subset of a means common elements of b and a we discard here and only consider the only those elements which are in only a set not in b okay so that times because here ask a minus b if here ask for b minus a b minus a that time answer is 5 but here ask a minus b so and sub uh, and second condition is b is subset of a so that time this is the universal set this is the a set outer circle is a and the inner circle is b okay a minus b a minus b means all the elements of a but not in b okay so consider only all the elements of a but not in b okay this is the answer for a given case <coughs> Okay, next case third. Case third is A minus B when neither A is subset B nor B is subset of A. Means two sets. Okay, A and B. Neither A is subset of B nor B is subset of A. And not a disjoint. That means there are no any statement mentioned here. The two sets are disjoint. Okay, so that means the, these are two sets are not disjoints okay so draw a diagram for given set this is a, a this is a b okay a minus b means all the elements of a but not in b this is a pure elements which are in a this is a this region this is a common elements in A and B, but when we find the A minus B, that time we need to, to consider only those elements which are in A, but not in B. So these regions which contains the elements, these are the elements which are also in B. So that means that times we need to discard the, all these elements. And this is the shaded region, which is the answer for the given case. Okay, next case for A minus B when A and B are disjoint sets. Here totally different elements, totally different elements in two sets. Okay, so this is the universal set rectangle to draw a rectangle. This is the A set, this is a B set. Okay, disjoint sets. These are the two disjoint sets. Okay, A minus B means all the elements are A but not in B to consider all the elements of A which are not in B okay so this is a this is a reason answer for the this shaded reason is the answer for the given statement okay next topic is fifth symmetric difference symmetric difference okay symmetric difference so here there are three cases we can apply on a symmetric difference we need to check before the draw a diagrams we need to check that these are the three case, cases first to find out first case is a symmetric difference when a is subset of b when a is subset of b okay so how to find out the symmetric difference between uh, the two sets so this is a formula suppose we uh, we here to find out the a symmetric difference b so that time we need to first find out a minus b union b minus b minus a b minus b minus 
b minus a okay so now the condition is a is subset of b to draw a rectangle this is a universal set this is a b set because a is subset of a draw a here this is a a okay so now here to find out the first a minus b a minus b all the elements of a but not in b so answer for the a minus b for the given case so answer is null because a is subset of b because a minus b means all the elements of a but not in b but here a is subset of b means all the elements of a belongs to b so answer is null okay b minus a means b minus a means what is the answer for the given case b minus a all the elements of b but not in but not in a okay so you know now five so only discard the all the elements of a we need to shade outer layer of outer circle and to discard the all the elements of a circle okay so this is a answer for the case first symmetric difference case first okay second case second a symmetric difference b when neither a is subset b nor b is subset a and a and b are not disjoint okay so here there are two sets are not disjoint a minus b so here we need to first find out the a symmetric difference b a minus b okay union b minus a okay a minus b means all the elements all the elements in a but not in b so here we need to discard the common elements common reason okay and b minus a union means a minus all the elements of a minus b union b minus a okay and also elements in b minus b minus b, all the elements b but not in a to consider this reason to discard only common reason here so this is the union of a minus b union b minus a means that this is the answer for the a semi difference b when neither a is subset b nor b is subset of a and one condition one more condition is a and b are not disjoint okay next last case case third a semi difference b when a and b are disjoint means total difference element both set okay so here these are the two sets u a and b a minus b a minus b a minus b means all the elements of a here answer a minus b is a and b minus a answer is b okay so you need know a minus a and b all the elements a and all the elements of b okay this is answer for the given case okay students so if any doubts you can message me on my personal number okay i will clear your concept and thank you all of you